glad to have you all with me here today. If you're new here, my name is Bridget and welcome. And today you can see I'm standing here with a bucket, an old antique bucket. It's got this, the neatest grayish, greenish looking color. And I thought it would look really pretty in my kitchen on my, the center of my kitchen table. Well, the problem is I've tried it on the center of my table and I've tried everything in it. I've put tulips, I've put greenery, I've some woodenware, I've tried all kinds of things. But today I think I know what may work and I'm just gonna kind of show you a quick DIY on, on what I plan to do in this bucket. Um, first of all, I bought this bucket last Saturday. We went to a flea market in Franklin, Kentucky. And the next time they have that, they have it like once every, I think it's twice a month. So the next time I go up there, I'm going to be sure and make a video and take you guys along with me. It's a neat little flea market. But anyway, so what, in, what my thoughts are today, I think I'm going to try to make a topiary out of a, um, an artificial lavender bush that I have. And, you know, I know a lot of you have probably seen the lavender trees, and I absolutely love those. But of course, you know it's not going to last very long in the house, so I'm going to try to make something that still has that look with something that'll stay in the house, you know, all the time, it's artificial. Um, so I haven't made one of these before. So cross your fingers, guys. Let's see what we come up with. Well, I'm here at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna show you a few things that you'll need for this project. You'll need a piece of styrofoam. And I picked this one up today, it was $3.99, but it's enough that I can use it for more than one project. Then you'll also need a bush of lavender. And I love the light color lavender on this one. And this bush is $17.99 and it's on sale for 40% off right now. The pot here was $2.99 and I actually have one of these at home, but I thought I'd show you what I used. And then you'll need some Spanish moss. And this is a big, huge bag at Hobby Lobby. You don't need that much. Or you might prefer to use, you know, maybe the green moss. I have some Spanish moss at home that I'm gonna use. Okay, y'all, let's get started. What you're gonna need for this project is a clay pot, just a terracotta clay pot or whatever pot you decide to use. I already had one here, so I didn't have to get a pot. <clears throat> some styrofoam. I picked this up this morning at Hobby Lobby. And I'll only need to use a little piece of it in the bottom of my pot, so I'll have lots left. Um, some Spanish moss, and this will just go around the top of your pot to hide your styrofoam. And, and you can use Spanish moss or you can use green moss, whichever you prefer. Some, um, let me show you this, some jute string, and I'll show you what we'll do with that. scissors, hot glue gun, um, a stick, and I just went out in the yard this morning and found this stick. This time of year, we don't have a shortage of stitch, sticks with all the wind that's been blowing, but with this stick, I have cut my stick to, it's about 13 inches tall, and the reason I cut it this length, to go in this bucket and go in the center of my kitchen table under my light fixture that hangs down. I don't want it to be, you know, by the time you add your, the topiary part on the top, the lavender, I don't want it touching my fixture. So this needed to be about 13 inches tall. You guys can make yours taller, shorter, whichever you prefer. But for me, 13 inch or, inches will work. So just gonna show you. When I stick my stick down in there, my topiary will start coming out right here and that'll make it stand about this tall, which will be just perfect. So, and then you will also need the main thing. You will need a lavender bush, and I bought mine at Hobby Lobby. This is what the bush looks like when you buy it. Of course, this is, I've had this bush for a few years, so it, it's looking a little pitiful. It's missing some of the ends, but I'm just using this for an example. Um, when you get your bush, it's gonna look like this. And this is after I have done what I need to do to it to make it work. But the first thing you want to do when you get your bush is you can see that I'm going to pull down all of these. There's like six of these little 
things at the very bottom. Then everything else is attached in this big plastic thing. And I want to cut that off just about right here with my wire pliers. Just take your wire pliers and cut that off. And then just cut each one of these pieces off. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those. So what's that? Let me get rid of that. What that's going to leave you with is six little pieces that were around the bottom, just little pieces. Okay, so we got six of the little pieces, and then we're going to have the one big piece that, that was up towards the middle. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do, if you've ever seen a, um, a lavender topiary, they, they, they're not a ball. They don't, you know, they don't grow in a ball. They grow up and then they kind of go like this. They kind of spread out and go straight up. So we're going to kind of bend this a little bit to kind of give it that look. So I'm going to take, I'm going to start with my big piece and I'm going to pull these pieces down a little bit. But what I want to do, I want to kind of pull them down and then push them up. Just pull them down sideways and then about, I don't know, a few inches out, kind of turn them upwards. And I kind of like the look where it's a little um, wild looking, I guess you'd say. Just that's kind of the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to pull it down and, and turn these up. And you can arrange these any way you want to. This is just kind of the way I want mine to look. So I'm just working with each one of these pieces to try to pull them down and turn them up till I get this about like I want it to look. Because this is going to stick into the top of my stick. Because that, when you see a... a a topiary with lavender. This is kind of the look that it has. It may be a little fuller, but this is going to be fine. And we can tweak that as we need to. All right. Then I have these little pieces, and we will add them down at the bottom after we get this main piece in. Okay. Let's set that aside. Now, back to our stick. This part was a little tricky. I had to get my husband to help me. I needed him to, in the end of my stick, that's why I found a stick that was kind of big around. The sticks that I used on my topiaries last year were smaller in diameter. This one is larger. And I wanted that because I wanted him to drill me a hole down in there to put the top of this. I didn't want to pull all these off of the bush. I wanted them to stay intact. So I had him to drill me a hole where I could put this down inside the end of the stick and glue it with some hot glue. Now, what you might want to do, and, and we did this to mine, when I peeled off, or when we cut this top part off, here, let me show you. It was really thick, had a big, huge piece of plastic, you know, it's thick around it. So he just got a little, uh, a little, what do you call this thing, utility knife, a little razor, and just kind of shave some of that plastic off. Or a little grinder, if your husband has a grinder or you have a grinder, just grind some of that plastic off. Just get that down as thin as you can so that you can get that thing to stick down in the top of your stick so that you can glue this piece down into the end of your stick. Okay, so here we go. Now, <clears throat> before we do that, let's get our styrofoam in our pot. All right, let's see here. Just gonna cut this with my scissors. These are my scissors that are not very good scissors. They're kind of dull, but they're working for this. Let's break it off. All right. Now I'm going to shave off some of these corners. You know, I, I was hoping I could find a round piece of styrofoam this morning, but believe it or not, Hoppy Lobby didn't have any round ones that would go down in this pot, so I, I knew I was just going to have to work with this square piece. I'm just going to cut these corners off. I 
and it doesn't matter. This doesn't have to be perfect because this is just going to hold your stick in place. just going to fit right down in the bottom of here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to squirt a little glue in the bottom of my pot. Because once I smack, it fits tight, so I don't want to have to pull it back out to glue it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down here. It's got glue down in my pot. And I'm going to smash this down in here. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is, just start a little hole for my stick, and then once I get it, because I want this to go all the way to the bottom of this pot. Okay. And if you'll notice, guys, I picked a stick that had a little bit of a crook to it because I want it to look natural. I, I don't want it to look like a like I've gone and used a, a straight dowel rod. I want it to have a natural look. So I've got my stick down in there. So now I just want to put lots of glue around this stick so that it'll stay in place. Some on the bottom. I'm going to put some down inside this hole. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to let that set up for a minute. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is he made this hole big enough in the end where I think I can do my main piece and a few of these other smaller pieces. And we did the same thing on the ends of these pieces that we cut off. We trimmed away most of that hard, rubbery uh stuff that's around them that covers the metal, the little wires. Just try to um, shave away most of that so that, because you don't want to get a stick too big, but to get a small enough stick, you can't keep drilling holes in it. There's not enough room. So we're just going to have to kind of improvise with this. So we're going to put this one. Let me get a couple more. Again, you guys, I haven't made this before, so just bear with me. I am making this along with y'all for my first time. So we hope this is going to work. So I'm going to put some glue down in my hole here. And I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to put the big one and one of the small ones in there at the same time. And I'm just going to hold it till it sets up. Yeah, okay. Now, I've got a couple more that I'm going to try to get put a little glue on it down in that same big hole. on my stick. All right, now I've got a few little holes that he drilled me at the top of this stick. I need to put my glasses on so I can see where those holes are. All right. So I'm going to put some glue around. In the this. Okay. I'm going to 
Let's see where my other holes are. And you guys may have a better way that, that works easier for you to do this. I tried to think of every way to do this that would be the easiest way and this is the best thing I could come up with. But you can't put your these last pieces in on the sides because you want to cover up that with your florist wire and your string so you don't want I'm getting this hot glue off of the stick. And if you try to put holes around here, you're not going to be able to wrap the florist wire around it. So we've got a couple more to get glued in. Let's see if we can find a place to get these in here. Well, let's see what this, maybe this will look okay without adding all of them. Okay, and again, we're just pulling these down gently. You can see there where my stick. Okay, the top of my stick broke off, so let me get some wire and wire around this so it won't break any further. All right, we're going to wrap a little wire around this stick to make sure it's the stick doesn't split. Okay. And all I'm doing is wrapping the wire around this stick and pulling it tight so that because you don't want the top of your stick to split and break off like mine almost did now Here we go, back to pulling down our pieces ever so gently. All right, guys, it's starting to take on the, the look that I'm going for. Keep working with it till you bend them the way you want to bend them. But I kind of like it to be a little like it's just kind of going out and then straight up because you know how lavender does, it grows straight up. But with a topiary tree, they kind of go out and then grow straight up. So I think that looks good. I think it's going to be really pretty inside this bucket. Okay, now, these last two pieces, I don't think we need them. I think it's going to be fine just with what we've got here. And I'm out of room in the top of my stick to glue any more of these pieces in. So, we're going to skip the last two pieces. Now, all we need to do is put some of this Spanish moss in here. It's filler so that you don't see all of the styrofoam. I'm just going to put some hot glue down around in here. This is the messiest stuff to deal with. And I'm just kind of pulling it apart. to hurry before my glue dries. And I'll have to do that a couple of times, just a couple of layers.
a little bit more on this side. And I think I'm just about, let me go get another glue stick. Okay, back with a new glue stick. And I just need to add a little bit more over here. got to cover up this wire and what I'm going to do is wrap some floral tape just oh maybe inch and a half down and then we will color cover the floral tape up with this jute thread not thread jute string That's about as far down as I want it to go. I'm just going to put a teeny little dot of hot glue to hold that in place. Okay. Y'all see, I'm a messy crafter. I get it done, but I make a mess doing it. All right, now we want to cover up this, or I do, I want to cover up this green floral tape and I want it to have a more, you know, a more primitive look. So I'm going to go around this green with this jute string and just keep gluing it and wrapping it, okay? So I'm going to start with just a little bit of glue right here to hold this the end of this string in place. Boy, you gotta love glue strings. And need my handy dandy glasses again. Okay. And I'm so careful about not sticking my finger in that hot glue. And all I'm going to do, you really don't even need to glue this, just keep wrapping it. Until we cover this. It's about an inch and a half of green floral tape. Which will take a minute. If you had thicker jute. Mine is pretty thin. If you had some thicker jute, it would probably look better and go a little quicker. And I'm just pushing up as I go to make sure that you can't see the green tape. Now this last little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Just a little st stick. Now I'm going to finish this off. Okay, and let that dry. A little bit of hot glue that I finished it off with. Now, I think, it, I think it's going to look good in this bucket. And it looks like one of my pieces has come off. So let's put that little. All right. 
now. I'm going to clean up my mess, put it in this bucket, and I'll come back with a, a finished picture to show you what it looks like on my table.